Last night, Temple had on Ye and to what many in the white community call Kanye West. Also, Nick Fuentes. And Milo Yiannopoulos. Early in the show, they stormed off to what seemingly looked like not a very big deal. So it made me wonder, why? Why did this happen? How come this happened? And was it all just staged? Was it just for the views? Was it just for the clicks? Or was there something deeper going on? See, earlier in the week, Adam Kriegler of Kriegler Coffee, that used to be a part of Tim Pool, Tim Cast, put out a stream and aired a whole bunch of grievances and things he felt that wasn't fair and how Tim Pool wronged him. And then Tim Pool came back. I'm hearing rumblings, but I'm hearing rumblings. <laughs> I'm hearing rumblings that Adam Kriegler is best friends with Kanye West and Milo. And they staged this as a in your face moment that Tim will never be able to recover from. The podcast will never be the same. Everyone will know the jig is up. It's over, Tim. It was all a joke. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazines back in the limousine. <laughs> God, who cares? Uh, I did see that. I did see what was going on last night, and I thought it was incredible. And I was like, "Man, this is going to be the most fire podcast ever, and it's going to be just ridiculous, and it's going to be racist, and it's going to be <laughs> just so dumb, but it's going to be entertaining." And that's honestly what. 99% of podcasts are about, right, is to be as entertaining as possible. I mean, I put my beanie on so that you think about Tim Pool as you watch me. I am the ginger Tim Pool. I am Jim Pool. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what am I talking about? Uh, but I saw the reactions this morning and everyone's freaking out and everyone's like trying to critique it and stuff like that. I think you're just watching a guy uh, that is Kanye. This is my genuine, genuine take. I think you're watching a guy, Kanye, who is hurt and is in pain and is lashing out at all those who have wronged him and have wronged, uh, gone against him. And right now, sometimes when you're in pain, uh, the friends around you no longer are your friends and you seek help elsewhere that will echo whatever you are uh, thinking and feeling in that moment. And that's why it's always... Don't surround yourself around a bunch of yes men in your life. Make sure you have people that are able to uh, hold you accountable or uh, say, you know what, Derek, what you just said there was really stupid. And you need to have those people in your life so that you know when you're being insane. Because we all have those moments of like, hey, wait a minute. If all the people are doing this, then that means this and it's not me so i definitely know it's true <laughs> we all have the capacity to be uh to say insane things and to think crazy things and to uh look at a group of people sometimes and be like hey you're different than me and it seems like you have control over me and that makes me angry <laughs> Make sure you have people in your life that uh, can hold you accountable for crazy things that you say and that will say, you know what, hey man, what you're saying right now doesn't really make sense, but I'm trying to hear you and listen to you with an empathetic lens. And so I know that you are just hurting and broken right now and you need somebody who's going to come alongside of you and encourage you in this moment uh, and be your friend rather than, hey, let's put you on every single podcast because what's better than, uh, you know, it, he, he might be going through like a psychotic, he might be going through something very traumatic. And so now is not the time maybe to go on every single podcast uh, available. And also it's uh, on a lot of podcast hosts as well to notice that, hey, maybe this individual should be 
at home with the family, thinking these things through, journaling about stuff, talking to someone that is uh, important, that is not just going to be a yes man. Like, it's important to have these people in our lives. That's just my thought. Um, <laughs> Maybe it's on Tim Pool's fault. Maybe it was Tim Pool's fault for sparking up the whole thing by starting off with an article about uh, calling him an anti-Semite immediately, and that probably triggered something within him. I don't know. I just know that he probably shouldn't be on podcasts and definitely shouldn't be running for president. I hope you have a fantastic day, and that is my conspiracy theory moment. Dun-dun.